Hello everyone, Son of Beast here, and welcome to another NHL 23 of Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. This next matchup, as we're about to be seeing the tough battles in between by Pittsburgh and Boston Bruins. As of right now, Pittsburgh is already ranked in the number two seed of the wild card, now in the fourth seed to take on against the number one seed in the team. That's because of Boston Bruins, they have made their clutch playoff title to make their way to the playoffs in the standing. As the Bruins never made it that far, they wanted to try again to go right back in the game. And they might be finding somebody else that could definitely try to take over the SmackDown. There might be someone else that could try to take them over here. And here are the starting lineups that we have currently as follows. Sidney Crosby. Jake Gutzdexel and Anthony Malkin. On the other side of over here, we have is David Pasternak, Brad Marchand, and Linus Allmark. Linus Allmark, you should say that one. I don't know if I pronounce it right, but it's a little confusing in between by the two. As we take a look here for the Pittsburgh Penguins, Sidney Crosby has only made a beauty backhand. It goes with the Ely backhand that he could try to pick up the run. And Jake Kutzetzel's got sniped. The Ely puck settling with the score and tough one in between. And Ed Evgeny Malkin, he really has gotten a lot of the ankle breaking motion. Got a great dex at a higher speed. Big rigs, what's a great drive. Off the rush, a great slap shot, and tape to tape with a great passing within the vision of, this, of the player's open bound. Now on the other side, we have the Bruins, as we haven't shown you on the other side. Let's take a look and see what they've got. David Posternox, he's got his own ability of snipe. Ely putt settling. He's really well at this point. He was very like a beast mode into the uh, part of the game, and he's ready for action. Might be going for another one again. Brad Merchan has got make it snappy ability. He has his elite snapshot in stride. That might be his own key to give him a good run of an ability board. For and Lena Solmark is X-ray vision. He's got through the screens that can try to light it up and make it happen by with the light work and butterfly effect. It's very uh, tough to say that Lena Solmark and he had made a goal. He opened net wide against the Canucks in Vancouver. He just finally got a goal. I've never seen how well he does, but he's doing really good. I might say, keep him for good for Allmark. And on finally, last but not least, is Charlie McAvoy. He has it called up with the player of defense sticker. Stick him up. That might be the tough choice that you're going to get to key to make that happen. Now it's time to send you to the game. I will have is OJ and along with the other hand is Paintbrush. And this one will be the number matchup to see the next part of the game. Guys, it's all yours. Enjoy Pittsburgh and Boston matchup of game one. Hello everyone, it's game one. Along with me, OJ, and Paintbrush, the center ice is Meatbone, and you will be standing by, right between the two players. Opening face-off of the postseason is about to begin now. Bruins wins the face-off, and we are underway for the Stanley Cup playoffs in Boston. The courtesy lineup is being as followed as we have is Marchand. That is Krelchuk on the other side. McAvoy is on the outside. Bergeron in the corner, and Marchand in the center. And the goalie for the Boston we have is Linus Allmark. Linus Allmark definitely was the better player of performance. His run was leading to a team's successful year, making a clutch title to make their way to the playoff inbound. They have a great look of ability runs. Other players have a hard time to get this right on the board. But thanks for the team for the Bruins, they finally made their way to the playoffs to go back for the first time. Since last season was not a great year, because the Hurricanes was definitely pushing bound. 
Here's Crosby, blocked up by McAvoy. McAvoy's got his first block of the game. That's a great move. I have to say, Sidney Crosby was almost making a way down to his board. The moment really pushes him up. Might have to find another way to try to keep him out. On the other hand, we have this Malkin. Pittsburgh are inside of their offensive territory. Demola shot. That hits off with the glove saved by Omar. McAvoy back the air away. Boston back to the other side. Rolls back over to Frederick. To Lindholm. Lindholm trying to spin the move. With the shot. It's stopped by Jari. That will be the goalie starting tonight here for Pittsburgh as he's got his first save of the night. Players are set here to take on the faceoff. Still on an early setup, no score yet. Patterson's got the board over to Zucker. Now they're in offensive territory. They have numbers here. Malkin blocked up and good poke check by Carlo. Foligno with the puck. It's taken over by Raquel. Raquel back with the man. Advantage. Club saved by Omar. Omar really got a good attention out there. Might be going for a big one here. He's got on man rush. Shoots. Stopped by Jari. A good save here by Jari. And he's got to stop that down to make the play go big. That bigger motion, that yeah, gives him a good look. Stop by Omar. That sends back to Lindholm. The Bruins are back in offensive territory on Pittsburgh. Carlo, too many bodies in the way, and we'll have to regroup the puck to try to keep him out. They need to spread it out. They can't be leaving Grapes all alone. They'll be clogged up again. Carter in the offensive territory. Furrock gives over to Coyle. In the corner now, it's Coyle. Give it a look at offense. Corvo almost would have made a miss. Foligno back outside. Gives it to Clifton. Clifton back to Forward. Forward shot going in. That stopped the pad by Jari. Jari over the corner. Pittsburgh back in the offense zone. And it's staked away. Smith builds it over to Foligno. He fires the puck on deep. Put a smack down. Coyle making a good stop. He's really on a smacking. Wow. Shot. Rebound. And that one stops by Joey with a save. There you got the pressure here. We're under 13 minutes to go. Players are set inbound. They're about to take the face off here in the offense zone. The win comes back in. Latang in the corner. Demolin with the puck. Over to Parling. Parling back to Demolin. Taken deep with a tape to tape feed, but it was given up. And Smith with the puck. He stops right down the corner, trying to make a move, but he might not messed up there too late. Penguins are back in offense zone. McLaughlin takes a steal. I haven't heard about McLaughlin, but he was able to try to like keep it in tight. The range is out of, out of motion in sight. May have to go with another look of a chain. But I might find out they could be on a hard carry to go from here. McAvoy back to Gersley. Look out below! It's the pass saved by Jory. Gersley check. Back to Pastradox. Moving the puck back to McAvoy. Picking a shot. Rebound by McLaughlin. Rebound again. Three in a row. That's saved off by Jari. That was a Harvey move. Almost would have been tipped in, but it was too tight to make it clear. McAvoy outside. Going for the left. Trying to rebound it. And it went behind the net. McAvoy over back over to McLaughlin. Berserk is outside. He goes right back to McAvoy. We pass down the midway period in the first, still no score game. Such a shot! Good stop by Jari. That stops the puck with under mid period to go. Players are set by inbound in a face off collision. 
These are the top teams since we have seen them playing in the Winter Classic at Boston Field where the Red Sox usually play. Their play was just tremendous run as Bruins definitely had finally made the run to play here at Fenway Park. Frozen Fenway, I should say. <laughs> Frozen Fenway, Fenway Park, I mean, that's a lot of the changing difference. To be honest at that point, I have never seen how they play it like that before. Bergeron, backhander, scores! First goal in the playoffs! He's got a first good eye contact! A goal made for Bruins! That play was on a hustle move. The backhand was lifted up. Right around Jari. He was right around it. Great shot connection. Bergeron with the first goal of this game for the Bruins. He had made that one a clever sneak movement. He was able to take his own time. He has been practicing a lot with his team after the regular season completion. But he was able to build on nice and tight. What a play for Bergeron. I'll keep an eye on the touch here if there are new changes coming up ahead. Back to you guys. We're now back over to Carlo. Eight minutes to play in the first period. Foster knocks with the, with the move around. Chain it bang! And it's Demolin with the steal. He gives it to Crosby. Moves it quickly over to Goodsetsa. Trying to go around him. Crosby! Rebounding in front and it's stopped away by the hill. Carlo back in the offense zone. Gets a flank block to Gucci. Goes right to back to Posternox. Carlo back outside. Goes back to Farberick. Look at front. And Jari with the glove save. Stop the play with under seven minutes. It's 1 0 Bruins. Scritchy with the win. Clifton back outside. Stick Clifton and a nice play by Zucker. Nice zone entry for Zucker in the offense territory. Here's Raquel. Shot denied and went tipped wide. The wide shot. Not a good ability to try to like hit the deck out of it. Trying to go with the backhand shot. Long, but it was taken away by Jari. Moves back over to Zucker, over to Malkin. Malkin reach over to Demolin. Try to put around it. Raquel shot. It's stopped by Omar. Gretchen in the corner now. Back to the offense territory. Gives it to Clifton. Move around the back. Clifton went outside way too far. Need to fix somebody else because there are a bunch of players that have caught up already. Bolino back to Frederick. Coyle outside. Backhander, he was wide open, but then but the goalie refused to deny the shot. Raquel, one-on-one. Forbury with the steal. Passing five minutes to go in the first period of the game one of the Stanley Cup Finals. It's a one-nothing lead for Boston. Clifton. And it's taken away by Carter. Good stop by Smith. But Carter rejects it again. Forward, back outside. Clifton back outside. To Greer. In the middle. Smith recovers. With the shot. That stopped by, by Jari. And back the other way for Pittsburgh. Here they come. Saved me by Omar. Omar's really clever on that one. McLaughlin. Way deep. Smith move. Back in. Stopped by Jari. He was wide open on the net. Might have to fix it for another changeup. They have to go with something else. They need some plan B. Because they can't find another way to go with the backhand shots to try to stop their run. Forward shot and it stopped again. Patrie back to the offense zone for Pittsburgh. Good takeaway here. McLaughlin with the puck. Flings the puck around the board to Marchand. He moves quicker to Gerslick. McAvoy outside. Open look. Great rebound. And it's tipped away by Jari. And Petrie takes it over on other way. 
scooped up along the boy by McAvoy. Trying to pick around a man on him. Recover the puck. Looks to McAvoy. Backhand, good look, but not a good clean shot. Needs somebody else. They can't be leaving it out. Just one minute to play in the first period. Right now, here's McAvoy. Move around the man. Stop by Jari. Stop the play with 46.5 seconds. In between the two, Sidney Crosby's got his beauty backhand shot. He's able to pick up his play by the defenders and make a goal connection right between. David Pasternak has got a snipe ability to take over by the hand. With offense clean, they have it all down on board. We'll have to find out if David Pasternak can get a snipe. I'll try to keep an eye on the two players to go with a heavy look. Back to you. Gucetso with the puck. Five seconds to go. Pasternak will take it. And we'll have to stop the play. That ends the first period. Uproar's first start for Bergeron. Back in, in the net. First goal in hand. We'll be right back with the second period. Period number two. About to begin here on ice. And the puck is about to be dropped and we are ready to go for the second period. As for Patrick Bergeron had gotten his first goal in the Sandy Cup playoffs, he was able to help out his team. He knows he plays with his own head coach that was giving him with some instructions. He knows his puck skills. How does it really turn out that Pat Bergeron has it all? Well, he's one of the most guys I've ever seen him play against before since he was ever playing with the, the Brewers the last season that they played in the postseason. They definitely haven't had him like a many years ago here from this player of the team from before, after over decades and now this one is going back from between the, between the teams. I'm glad to see this guy um, coming down really well. Hopefully the team can definitely bring him for per Bergeron for another year to live on. And hopefully by that time, they might just see how well he does. Lutang in the corner. Zacha takes a steal. Pittsburgh back the other way. Battle on the board. Between the Penguin and the Bear, Gutschetzel back in the offense center. In the corner! Tipped off wide and a delay penalty coming up for Boston. That will be a slashing call. That goes to Zacha. Oh yeah, that easy call was going to give him up a two short run. That's going to be an off target for him. See what happens? This was really not going to be enough to take him over for the strategy line. line Linus Allmark. He's one of a better time with calls an x-ray vision that gives him with the team that he is comfortable for. He has a perfect vision to take over with the, with the shot and take him back from the other lineup. His goal is to keep that one saving long and possible. I'll be keeping an eye on Hallmark for another saving ability on a power play. Guys, Frederick with the punt. They're going back in. And they have to forget about here as they are going back to their power play zone. Lost the pass, but Zucker holds on. Rucks back to Zucker. Petri, pass in the middle. That shot saved me by Omar. Kicks the puck. And he goes offside. That will be on Pittsburgh. Face off coming up. Both players are set here in a neutral face off. Score still 1-0, Boston ahead. Back to win. Take it over, March and oh boy! 3-on-1, short-handed, not enough to make it in time. Betray in on the board, going to take a shot and stop by Omar. McAvoy clears out, 30 seconds to go for the first, second period and the power play for the Penguins. Marchand with the puck. Gives it off to McAvoy, but it's Raquel with the steal. He's almost ready to go out there, OJ. Crosby! Holding the puck out! That's stopped again by Omar. 
The power play comes to a failure for, for Pittsburgh as they would could have tied the game up. Yeah, it's typically true. I have to say that it looks like that Allmark was able to try to go right from between the end of But what happened here? He was right in time. He was definitely delivering his elevation to give him off to a successful run. With the fast break move! Fast break backhand stopped by Dory. Goes back to Forborat. Clipped it back to Forborat. Moving the puck over again. Finds an open man. Coil backhand shot. Rebound to Fry. Zacha went behind the net. Which that south over to Bluger. Betray over to begin. McKinn in the corner. Betray with it now. Stopping again. Olmark with the save. Stop the play with 13.30 to go. Both teams are set raging off this point. Right now, it's a hard one to keep it alive in the first game. As we talk about all this, uh, Linus Olmark. He was able to have a good, perfect vision that he's able to do. Plus, he had that goal lately playing against the Canucks in Vancouver. Able to take the win out there. We haven't seen any goalies making the goal. <laughs> it's true. But I must say that whenever the players, like the goalies, can try to hit that goal with an empty net, they always want to do that one here. They got it locked out of here. <laughs> and the better thing is, like Lena Solmark, he just got that goal. What a play. Greer with the puck. Fires over man. Clifton with the puck. Stopped by Jory. That sold up. And Betray has it now. Pittsburgh with 12 minutes to go in the second period. Smith grabs the puck away. McLaughlin fires the puck up deep. Greer scoops the puck along the board. Russell Jack over to McAvoy. Stick lift it. Holds on the puck. Berger on. Inside move. Tackling it down. Greer. And good stop by, by Berger on as he got it back. He's very good. Good help on the offense. Rebounding front stop by Jarvi. Jarvi is saving a lot of energy. He's still on the move out there. Keep your eyes on the spirit. Stop by Omar again. Battling on the puck around the board. McKinn trying to hit the puck out of here. A lot of banging in between. Here, fires the puck out. Icing is the call on Boston, and they will have to reset it to get the face off ready. He's gotten some great heavy hit. McAvoy has gotten a lot of great momentum out there. This one is calling for a shield protection to give that one a good look. He really has it all, but for his team, they might have to give McAvoy a good run. I'll keep an eye on McAvoy if he's got a good eye, eyes contact and take it from here. Back to you guys. After the deflection up at the netting, it's McAvoy. Hall outside, locked up in front of it. He just leaves it over to Latang. Gives it to Zucker. 2-0-1! Blocked up in front! Latang with it! Wow! Omar! Did not see where he was going! But what a great stop! Excellent move! 2-0-1! Oh, Jari had it all that point! That was going to be a tough save out there because Jari had a quick move out there! What a run! Penguins are trying to fight back with a tie game run but the Bruins still have it in front. Past the midway period, Lindholm lost the putt, and Carlo will have to take him from here. He gives it over to Foligno. Foligno around the man. Slips right down to the corner. Gives it over to Carlo. He finds Foligno. Shoots in the air. That went tipped out, and it's stopped by Jory. Latang with the putt. Trying to go in the middle. Pointing! Stopping again. What a brute smackdown as Omar makes a save. Boston looking a little heavy back traffic out there. Costa Knox didn't seem he was ready to go, but he was going to get a slight. Well, indeed now, 
because this really needs to give somebody a good look at an offensive strategy run. They have to find somebody else. Foligno, moving around in! Try to rebound in, but it was stopped by Joey. Lindholm recovers after Carlo back with the pass. Back to Lindholm, back to Carlo. Take the shot! Rebounded in front! Two times stop! Bad pass here, and the puck is wide all the way down. Forward gives it to Carlo. He tries to give it to Pasternak. And Gusek Sal grabs it with the puck and take it away. Six minutes left to play in the second period. It's 1-0 still. With the shot, glove saved by Omar. Got a good pace of it. He is trying to keep it very hard out there. Might need to give another good run of it on the attack. Coil with it now. Do not see the penalty, but it was no call for Pittsburgh. Clifton with the putt. Rebounding up, and it's Carter with the steal. Luger with the puck in the neutral zone. Pittsburgh back to the offense zone. Holding on the range. Tandy tipped it in. They tied the game up. Oh, man. Luger was able to look out. He got that one in there. Luger was able to try to see with his vision. He was going to try to take a deck and try to put it back right into the goal. He's playing tough, guys. It's tie game. Carter smacking down Bluger. Oh, man, that was close. He had that save earlier, but now they're still up and again. Here's Hall. Hall trying to lift it away. Going around the man, and it's stopped by Joey. Joey's still up to a good vision out there. Back to Gersel check. Check back to McAvoy. McAvoy shot. Rebound in the front. And it's stopped by Jari. Battle on the loose puck. Trying to watch the puck going offside. But now it's Rubelio. Carter with the puck. Gives it off to, to McKinn. In the corner. Luger. Saved off by Omar. Marchand's got it now. Third pass. Broken up. Deep there, right to Malkin. Up to Raquel, taking the shot. McAvoy takes a steal after with a, with a stick lift. Bergeron decided to do it again. Give it a pass! Sam didn't have enough timing out there as Jerry was able to find it right away. Too close to call, way to make that one a stop. Taking the shot, McKinn stops it. Back to Malkin. Over again to Raquel. Raquel to McKinn. Pass two minutes to Mark. Greer in the corner. Carlo with the puck. Passing 90 seconds to go. Oh boy, a lot of bad passes here. Try to hit the poke check. Carlo over to McLaughlin. Going bang down. Smith with the puck. Jari stop save. And they'll hold the puck here for just under a minute in the second period. Teams are set for the faceoff. The score is tied by ones. And a win coming back in. That is a disaster. Good poke check here. Right now, Kerchie. Around the two man defenders. Going to find a room. Open look for Marat. Good stop, but Jet not enough to take with the slap shot. It's very hard to clever it out. He was able to like pull the puck out there and then give it off to the goal. Wide open look. Wayne comes in for Crosby. 10 seconds to play in the second period of the game. Ruzetsa with the puck. And with number one, they go back to back with the shot stopped again by Jari. That is the end of the second period. We got the third period coming up. 
Kluger tied the game. They are going to see who's going to take the lead when we come back. Third period about to begin. And this is the last one period in playoffs. It has been a tremendous day. As we all have heard, this was a battle in between by Pittsburgh and Boston since we have seen them in playing in the Winter Classics here at Frozen Fenway. Yeah, I have to say about this one because they have already have been playing like, they're like legit. They're the toughest team that I have ever played here before since the last time. It was definitely the Pirates and the Red Sox that they have definitely played. I'm hoping there is another way that they can definitely play it for another one for good. If we'd like to see the number one out there, probably the number thing in MetLife Stadium could be the Devils and the Rangers. But it may not be enough to get things at the podium. They've already played if the New York Showdown in between 5-2. Hopefully there might be another way that they could try to step them down. Puck passes over back to McAvoy. Russ took a big hit. We'll take on Crosby. Crosby with the puck. Shoots from that. And stopped by Omar. Omar still saving it. There is big time. Might go for a bigger one. Dumoulin's got the puck across the, from the back of the net. Malkin over to Raquel. It stays over by Pasternak. Crunchy and Pasternak recovers it. Boston in the offense zone. Finds it over Lindholm. Lindholm went around a bit too soon. Puck to the way. Trying to take it over. 2 on 1. Stop by Jari. What a big save. He almost went missed, but he still has it said. I could not just try to fling it back out there. I try to stay back and put. That was too close to call. It is. I must say this one, Jari is pulling it big here tonight. Scores in the lead. Frederick with the goal. Tie chain broken. Now a 2-1 lead. Right around the back. There's the hit, and there's the goal. What a shot for Frederick. Boston back in the lead. 2-1 is where we left off, under 16 minutes to go. Right now the win comes in for Crosby. Here's Sucker on the other hand. Trying to take it back, and it's Pedersen with the punt. Sucker flings it. They flunk it off the defender. Sucker plus save. Give it over. Malkin with the seal. Raquel shot. Pumped it again. Poligno right over back to Coyle. Passing 15 minutes on the mark. Got to fire it around it. Peterson. Peterson right back to McGinn. McKinn with the puck. Poligno is up in the other transition. Try to rebound it here. Carlos got the puck here. Right in the offense zone. Double man attackers on the board, trying to stop one here. Carter looking over, scouting the puck and shoots and deflect it off the player. Give it a little collision out there, trying to back off. Allmark stops save. Former right over to Smith. Boston back to the other end. They got a number here. And Blucher takes it away with a loose puck on the control side. McKinn's got it now. Pittsburgh back in offense zone. McLaughlin with the steal. He was really trying to like keep a focus out of there. Too many change-ups, there's too many of them getting in the way. Clifton, shot stop here by Jari. McKinn with the puck. Poking away by McLaughlin. Give a little bang out of it in the neutral zone. Patterson fires the puck around the net. Goes back over to Pasternak. The Bruins are in offense zone. Gives it over to Zacha. Does nice to go with the number attacking. And Zacha is up. Move the ball puck back over to McAvoy. 
Brock is taken out. And a late penalty call on, on Pittsburgh. There it is. That's what happens. You can't just swing up at the hook. You've got to try to find your way to get over. Good chance you shot. And we'll take a stop here. And right now, it will be a slashing call called on pole. Politic in with the troublemaking. Just can't really feel what he was going to do. Power play coming up here for the Bruins. Brad Marchand. He has his only play that can play with the teams. It's make it snappy ability. He just had it a lot and a good sight on the control. Gives him up with a good strategy on the run. The player, the better they have. I'll keep an eye on Brad Merchand if he gets a goal with the power play. Back to you guys. Back of a shot. It's stopped again by Jory. Move on to the tank. Right to McKinn. Decide not to do with the flame. Double man on him. Bergeron's got it now. Fire the puck around the board. Fighting Bergeron and Rudolph. Take a big hit on the line. McIver lost it. He's all alone. Short ended. Scores. Oh boy. We are here tonight. And this one's a back to back goal. Yeah, you saw that. Jeff Carter was able to take it away. It says go for it. They're tied up now. Almost a mid period in the third. Score is twos. They've got to hit somebody else out there. They do. They have to find another way. Back scores. Here's Coyle. Back over to Zacha. Zacha right over it again. To Lindo. Passing 20 seconds. Take a shot. Rebound. Stop again by Jari. Almost ready to go. He's ready to go back to even strength. Rust and fire the puck away, and the power play's over. A short-handed goal for the Pittsburgh, and no power play goals for the Boston Bruins. They are tough on the team. Nobody at all. They will have to be here. A lot of plays, it's just going to be a hard one to go back-to-back -back runs. When you're thinking about the puck, you want to go find an open man. Don't let the defender try to attend you. He'll try to take it down, and that will be it. The less possible work to try to stop the run. Foligno, too many men in the way. Sucker has a puck. He kicks it over to Malkin. 2 on 1. Trying to take a look. Coyle trying to battle the puck. Now he finds over to Zacha. Taking a little hit here. Again and again. A lot of attacking. He all has it now. McAvoy goes down. A lot of Penguins are battling for the demolition. They're trying to defeat the Bruins in the first game. That's not where we are going for. They really have to find someone else to make a trust out of them. They do not want to leave it alone. Zatch at the Hall. 6.39 to go in the third period. Take the block out of it. That shot was denied. Raquel to Crosby. Crosby to the Latang. Fire the puck in deep. Gives it over to Carlo. Boston Bruins are back in the offense zone. 3 on 1. Packer not going to do it this time. Marchand with the puck. With the shot and glove save by Jari. We'll get the puck ready to take it up. And we have under six minutes to go. If you're sticking here with the next game, we've got another matchup. It is a tough one to go from left to right. Back in Western Conference, it will be Declaration, the Jets, and Stars. Now the Stars, they have never played it against the Canadian team in the first round. But now, their time has been lifting it up this strong. They've got to find numerous numbers out there to pick up the gap. They have to. I wonder if the Stars can try to like go with the win. They have never faced it off and passed the challenge here for the first one here for tonight. 
I don't know what it's going to be out there, but if, there is, if there's a call, then we may have a problem with that one. Frederick with the punt. With the shot! Oh boy, he had that one out there. It showed up in no time. Russ has the punt. Penguins are back in offense. In attacking zone is Coyle. Coyle trying to stop one. He says, get away from me. Raquel to Malkin. Trying to go with the loose. Malkin in the corner. Big the leap. Oh, close call. And it's Omar with the save. Stopping the pad quick. That has to be a close call. You could feel that. That's a tough one to get there. Joseph back over to Zucker. Three minutes to go in the third period. It's still tied up in the first game. Now Carlo has it back. A lot of players are having a hard time to keep up the strength. Lutang takes it away. Raquel with the puck. Now McLaughlin has one. Back to Carlo. Taking the big here, Raquel. Greer, and didn't seem to go right in it as it calls offside. Here are the purple players. We have me phone standing by. David Pasternak has gotten some great skills on this one. With a good technique, the score gives him a tough run to this ability zone. But for tough for him, he's given him a lot of worthy credit runs. I'll keep an eye on David Pasternak if he's got a snipe. To give him a back run. Back to you guys. Reggie with the punt. He hits too many bodies in a way. Still got to get over it. And the puck is in and net. Trying to pick it up a move out there. Forbart. Over to Forbart. With the shot. Stop the game by Jari. Just passing a minute of play here in the third period. The score is still even. Kurji with the Pasternak. Pasternak looking for an open net. The wide receiver shoots to flank it off the defender. That defender was going to be showing up very strong out there. Clinton shot. Try to rebound it. And Petri with the punt. Carter has it now with the with the puck control. Now new changeup. Here's Bulger. Stopping the defender on the run. 25 seconds left in the third period of the first game. Can't waste no time. Russ takes it away. Trying to smack it down. Pedersen. Over to Crosby. Trying to pick the poke check. With the win. Pedersen. Oh man. That's saving going big. Wow. This is going to be our longest night. We've got over time coming up in the first game. After a breakaway chain, it's now two games. Overtime, next. It is that time, the first game in Eastern Conference. In overtime, Penguins, Bruins. It's about to start now. Here we go. Play of this game, here comes Marchand. Marchand trying to find a liberation. Going with the 2 on 1. That was off the mark. Marchand trying to recover it back. Lindholm trying to go right from in between the zones. They have somebody else to go from here. They need someone else to try to give it off the attacker and try to stop their run. Marchand with the shot. Stopped again. Jarring 2 times stop. Bergeron over to Lindholm. Would open that. Deflect it off the player of the Ber of Bergeron. Marchand trying to recover it. They'll have to reinforce the regroup here. Now they're back on offense. Bergeron finds over in the center to goes. Oh, he's looking for Pasternak. Scores! Game winner! Bruins wins the first game in the Stanley Cup. Fantastic to show this one. I have to show you the passing axis there. Give it a good look here and again a backhand shot. 
That's your game winner, folks. A tremendous night. We all salute fans here. This has been an excellent game here in the first game of the Stanley Cup playoffs. I hope this one everyone enjoys the rival match of Massachusetts, Boston, and Pittsburgh, PA. Just to start part of a uh, Penn State. Well, as we're being said right now, OJ is out along with Meatball and Paintbrush. Your final score is 3 2. Time to go over to Santa Beast to close the game. See you next time. Thank you guys very much. Let's have a look at their three star players of the game, starting with Linus Almar. He's well at the save. And the second star is Patrice Bergeron. A goal, assist, and hit. With a game, and this one has turned out to be clerical to make that one count. And your first star goes to Tristan Jari. 53 saves. He's like on a quick move. And your total shots here combined with the total shots of 56 for Boston and 28 for Pittsburgh. Only one shorthanded goal for Pittsburgh. And a lot of passing zones are turning out to be just underneath the strain. So with that one, I hope you enjoyed the first game of the Eastern Conference of the Bruins and Pittsburgh Penguins. This is, was a very intense matchup that they were ever going to face on. And with that one, we hope this one turns out to be an excellent game here for you too. The next game we will have it is a back-to-back -back switch. We go back to the Western Conference, we will have another look. It's the Wilds and the Jets. This time, the Stars are in battle of the second and third seed, right between the team. So Avalanche will be playing against Dallas after the other game of the other matchup of the Hurricanes and the Islanders. So that will be the next one to coming up here later and then we will head over to the second verse third seed. Or we can do is we can come back to this one later and then do the next one to get on the board. Wilds and Jets are the next game, so keep your eyes peeled open for the next one to come in by. And then the next game, we will head over to the second verse third seed as you will have the Maple Leafs and Tampa Bay Lightnings, a rematch since last season of the Stanley Cup playoffs. They're not a great opponent to take over this, but it's another USA vs. Canada team. So with that one, thank you all for watching, and peace out everyone for a while, as the NHL on Stanley Cup Playoffs of EA Sports Style. This is Son of Beast, thanking you for watching. See you next time, everyone. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.